Heads down, heads down. Please do read the safety car before takeoff and if you're sat.
omelettes. More omelette. So guys, if you can't find anything here, uh, they have everything. Poached egg, fried eggs, bacon. A lot of more omelettes, more bacon. And you've got loads of selection of meats. Try not to get in people's way while they're getting the breakfast. Loads of fruit, creams, yogurts, massive array of drinks, and obviously fruit juices. Loads more fruit, loads more juice. As you can see, and then even right up to here, where we've got croissants. Loads more croissants, donuts, cake, cereal of every choice, fruit to put in the cereal, milk. And you've got all your spreads, salads, all your sauces, loads more fresh meat. Loads of cheese, all there. So as you can see, there is absolutely everything. This is just the breakfast menu. So loads more donuts, and obviously all your meats there. So guys, if you can't find breakfast there, you're gonna, uh, you must be picky. So I thought I'd just stand in the middle basically and show you sort of distances of where everything is. So obviously we're right slap bang in the middle of the, the complex. So you've got the gym and the spa there. And then obviously over there in the background you can probably see it poking up as a water park. So that's the main lobby there. And obviously in there is where the, all the entertainment is at night. So obviously you walk down here. Then you spin around you've got the restaurant. That's the main restaurant and the crystal there. Uh, and then if we carry on going round, you've got the Palmieri and then obviously all the blocks start there So obviously if we walk down this path Which is there which takes us to the beach uh, There's also more hotel uh, more Restaurants down there as well. So if you're staying at the bottom you can use them ones as you can see all the different blocks uh, It's fairly central. It's not too big of a walk so like I say before we came we was a bit is it going to be like walking around everywhere? But it's not, it's all dead central as you can see. It's not a big walk and it is very nice. So guys, this is the main entrance where you're going to come in and then you're going to make your way over to the reception and speak to the lovely staff there. And then obviously you walk straight through. There's loads of seating areas as you can see there, coffee bars. You've got the, just go get around. Lovely big cappuccino coffee bar there where you can go for a coffee in the morning. The daiquiri bar, obviously that's open all day and at night, so obviously if you're not in the entertainment you can do that. And obviously the big Christmas tree. And there's the way through the other side to all the apartments, restaurants, etc.
So guys, this is the car park outside, as you can see. There is the water park. Uh, we'll show you around that when we go in there, obviously from the inside. And then obviously all the way around the main entrance here, which is uh, under security, so people can't just wander in. Obviously when you come in and out, you need to show your, your wristband to show that you're actually staying at the hotel. And obviously, the Covid, uh, what can they say, testing centre where you get all your bits? The doctor. It's the doctors basically, so you can go in there if you've got any problems and it's right at the entrance of the hotel, so that gives a bit of a... Uh, and there we go, back round to the entrance. So today we hired a quad and we're going to show you Santa Maria town. So obviously we're not sure exactly where we're going. Uh, so we're going to go down there, obviously I thought I'd do a bit of an intro because you're not going to wear anything once we're moving. So we're going to go and see the pier first of all, uh, all the fishermen come in around 11. Uh, we're a bit early so we'll see what we see. Uh, so enjoy the movie. So we've obviously had to park up to come to the pier. As you can see, it's pretty busy and all the boats are starting to come in with their haul for the day. Obviously fishing here is a massive thing because obviously all the locals uh, love to live off the fresh fish. As you can see, it's pretty busy. There's a dog having a chill on the floor. <laughs> and another one over there. <laughs> So you can see the locals obviously will try and sell you stuff. There's plenty more boats over there. The sea's absolutely stunning. One of my favourite words. Beach air is really nice as well, so obviously it's not just the pair. Yeah, you can come and chill and there's loads of bars along there. And the local guys making the, the little souvenirs, shells, etc. And here we have it. Now they bring the fish in here 
obviously, and they basically prepare them on the side of the pier. As you can see, Very, very pretty. Is it okay? out today. Uh, it's always pretty windy here and the waves are absolutely cracking. As you can see the kite surfers are up there but this is where the fun begins because obviously as soon as you get through the town what you see is an open landscape like this. Now all the tracks as you can see uh, just nice sandy rocky tracks absolutely stuck amazing for one of these uh, we have so much fun on the quads when we go out here this is basically what we came for uh, we can't video it obviously because it's a bit rough but you can drift you can step them out there's jumps there's all sorts you can go pretty much anywhere like i say uh, as you can see it's just an open landscape now for a few miles well i would say around 10 miles so we're just gonna go bashing through there uh, we'll see you in a bit around there, a nice bay, so obviously it's a bit softer there. Guys, the next stop is called Murdera. Uh, there's a lovely little like, horseshoe bay here, and I can't believe how calm it is on this side of the island, as you can see. So obviously we're working from Santa Maria. There you go. Nice little cafe there if you fancy a drink.
So guys, this is Shark Bay. Uh, we'll put some footage up in a minute because obviously we can't dip this camera in the water. Uh, but as you'll see, uh, they basically you can hire some shoes over here for a couple of euros. And then obviously the guides will take you out with uh, some fish and they will show you the shark. So obviously where it's very shallow here, they'll only take you where basically where it's shallow enough for the smaller fish to come in. Because obviously if you go further out there, there's some big sharks and you, you just wouldn't want to be mixing with them really. Uh, so yeah, we'll put some footage up in a minute and you can see the sharks. Palmyra, this is where all the imports come in, obviously the bigger dock, uh, it's very beautiful and the guys obviously want to uh, sell us some things, so there's obviously lots there to do, lots of souvenirs, now this I've never seen ever before, so there's some dried puffer fish, so look at them, they are amazing, wow. And then obviously you've got your sharks, teeth, etc. Uh, plenty of hats, bags, drums, chair, nice pictures. There's all sorts you can buy. So obviously the locals, uh, it's not very busy today. Uh, we have been here before when the tours come and they do come and, you know, try to sell you stuff, etc. If you're not interested, then obviously just let them know politely. So as you can see, you've got all your normal souvenirs, 
Uh, a lot of these bracelets they make by hand. Obviously, we'll show you one that he made for Lauren with a name on, etc. Uh, you can see everything's really. Like I say, all these, this sort of stuff, uh, you can see them carving it. So, obviously, when people say, Oh, they're not made here, they bring them in. Very, very We've nice. seen them. not too familiar it's probably worth coming on one of these tours first of all just to get a gist of things so obviously they'll show you the way here etc if you don't know where you're going we chose to come on our own because obviously we know the area we know what well, we sort of know the way we have had a little few mishaps and gone where we don't want but obviously with the terrain you can have some fun whereas when you're with the no limits guys you're pretty much restricted to what speeds and stuff they do uh, so obviously we're just going to go into the blue eye now uh, so we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so we've come into Blue Eye. Uh, nice restaurant as you can see. So you can get yourself a drink here. You will need one, it's very hot today. As you can see we're just going to go down there. So this is like a natural pool. Uh, and basically, in layman's terms, there's a hole in the rock where the sun comes down and it creates an illusion like a blue eye. So we'll get down to that in a minute. There's loads of viewing areas and stuff, so you get to see all that. It's pretty safe, it's quite a high up here in a minute, uh, but there's loads of waterways and stuff as you can see. So you'll see it's, uh, it's quite steep, so be careful. And as you walk down there's a natural pool we've been here before and it's usually that it's, it's usually quite rough and you can see that the water comes in splashes over into this natural pool it's absolutely crystal clear so very beautiful and you're probably going to see that the local will be jumping in so there's loads of tour guides there uh, obviously if you do come with a tour guide he'll show you all around but this is the natural pool. So as you can see there, the waves are just coming over. And then obviously it fills in the natural pool. Gonna, uh... So guys, this is the blue eye. So we have to be careful there because it's uh, pretty steep. So what happens is there's a big hole in the rocks basically, and when I say big it is, uh, there's the tour guide, show me in. It's going to be hard to uh, film this, but as you can see, it's a natural hole that comes through there. The sun's not the best today, so it's uh, not showing it, but there you go. And then obviously, as you can see, I can't get over far enough because I don't chunk myself going down there. So there we go guys. So you can see I'll just show you on this picture here. I don't know what time, but as you can see on there, 
it gives you a clearer picture of what we could actually see. Uh, so obviously when you look through the sunbeams through the hole and it gives that blue eye effect there. Sorry I couldn't show you but I didn't fancy falling down it. So somewhere down there is where it goes into the blue eye so uh, obviously you can't go down there. You'd be even pretty scuppered if you went in. Like I say, there's loads of little rock crawls and everything around there. It's, guys, there you can see how the, the sea's coming in over. This brave man here is going to jump in for us. So you can see, wow, and you can see how deep it is. So you can see, and also how clear it is as well. That is. And then obviously it all runs back into the sea. So you can see the swell there. Boom. And then obviously it fills up the pool. Absolutely. You can see there just how much it actually raised up. Well that is. Wow, you would not want to get caught in that. Like I say, be careful guys. There's, uh, you wouldn't believe how low it drops and then how high again it comes up. But, what a spectacular place. And there you go, off it all goes back in. It's getting refreshed all the time obviously. You can see there, it's all swirled up now. Yeah. So, so you can see there now it's gone back down the the drop and then the height it's got a drop of only imagine about 20 30 foot looking from here don't know if you can see it on the camera but you can see all that rock there which was nothing to, well which was covered two minutes ago as you saw is now right back down there and then obviously once it swells again it all comes back in. Amazing. There you go guys, so you can see. A bit better view of the swell. In it comes. big garden display area and as you can see they've made to scale with all the tracks etc uh, it's basically a, a mini salt and you can see all the different islands I don't know if you can see there is the salt lakes uh, the, the near the airport where it's got the telecommunications tower how great and then obviously the mountains can't see on the camera uh, but basically we've just come across that which is purely desert and it looks like there's a lake I don't know if it shows up on the camera or not but it looks spectacular from here I'd say there was nothing there so guys we've uh, now arrived at the salt mines so you can see there the original how they used to import export it so obviously the, the, the island is well known hence why it's called Sal uh, apparently this was owned by the locals but got bought by the Italians so it was owned by the tour guides so you can see there in the distance where it goes through the mountains and basically behind that mountain which we're going to go and climb so we can show you the actual lakes uh, is where they used to mine and export all the salt from the island So guys, there they are, 
that probably doesn't look as big as it is on the video but you can see the massive amounts of salt uh, so this basically is below sea level so obviously all the water pushes up into the salt lakes and then they mine it onto there until it dries out and what you're left with is a crisp of salt on the top I'll just zoom down there and I don't know if you'll be able to see but basically if you get in these lakes you cannot go under, you just float. It's very surreal. Uh, the salt content in there obviously makes you float. It, it, like I say, you can't explain until you've been in it how it feels, but basically no matter what you do, you just float back to the surface. Enjoy guys. So we've made our way back to the hotel guys, uh, we've just met up with our best friend Adgar here, he organises all the trips, he's just having a chat with Lauren, so obviously if you want to come and see this guy he will look after you regarding everything. Here's some of his, uh, his little boards here, so obviously he has these with him for to look through, so obviously he can do full tours, he can do catamaran rides, there's a buggy adventure and obviously the quad highlight we've done today. So obviously if you did want to, he does half day, full days, you can have a, a, a tour where someone comes with you, like a guide tour, so he'll show you around. Like I say, you can rent the quads on their own, they do another island tour there, which is a full day. So there's lots to choose from, and like I say, Edgar's looked after us every time we've been here. Uh, the service is absolutely outstanding, like I say, we're not just... Uh, customers of his now we're actually friends he'll stand on the beach and chat to us if you've got any medical advice you can sort that any transfers uh, taxis he will look after everything he will actually do anything for anybody like I say you'll see on the groups he's got such a good reputation uh, he doesn't pester you it's up to you to contact him so obviously if you do want to do any of these guys look for this guy what you're looking for is the red bike which is there Obviously, if you see Edgar, you see the red bike, you will see. Go and have a chat with him. He will help you out all day long. Yeah, yeah. The more, um, the more people are going to the I know a few YouTube, YouTubers, what they call them, and they meet. So, obviously, we're going to go and show you the zip line uh, again. Edgar can arrange this for you, transport there and back. Uh, he will look after you. Also, kite surfing. There's absolutely loads of stuff to do on this island, guys. You will never have a bored day. Like I say, we can't fit in all these trips in two weeks. Uh, every day is just a, a, a brilliant excursion. Uh, daily diving trips to see the turtles. I mean, where else in the world are you going to do that? Diving courses, intro diving, snorkeling. It's just endless. Like I say, the boats as well. Look at these. Oh, one's blown away. I will add, I will say one thing, it's a windy island. <laughs> Catamarans. Night buggies. You can do it whenever you like. Like I say, the choice is endless. Cheers guys. Off to Kite Beach next, we'll show you that. Uh, and then obviously we're going to go up there and we'll take a, a few videos of the zip line so you can see what you're going to experience. guys kite beach so the world championship kite surfing apparently is held here my information might be a bit old because this was from last year uh, but apparently the guy who owns this restaurant or stays here is a world champion so if ever you want to come kite surfing then here's the place to come watch this wow how do they not tangle up so we'll have a walk over here and we'll, uh, we'll show you some footage of what these guys can do. It's absolutely amazing. So as you can see, they are absolutely everywhere. Like hundreds and hundreds of them. And you should see the tricks they can perform. So I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit here. And back out again. It's the wave. Wow. 
Yes, look at that. What we're going to add up to see the mountain in the distance that's where the zip line comes from so you can see the sort of distance that they travel uh, we'll head up there now we'll try and get some videos of them coming down so guys zip line cable bird so you'll see there that's basically where they're going to come in uh, I can't show you how far it is because it's absolutely so if you can see them three little dots on top of that mountain that's where they're going to come down from uh, we're going to ride up this mountain here to see if we can see uh, but as you can see Zipline Cabo Dog. Hello mate. You okay? Hey? That's a good boy. A good girl even. Aren't you? Hey? That's a sniffing dog. You could come home with us. But you prefer it here in the sun, wouldn't you? Hey? Yes, he's a good dog. She's a good dog. Oh yes, that's a good dog. She's very good. Do you think so guys, we've got as high as we can possibly get with the quad. Uh, you can see down there the tracks, what you have to follow to get around. And there's no physical way up that mountain there. But I'll just zoom in. So the zip line, the last portion if you have to walk, but we'll see there's just some people arriving, but I'm not sure how long that'll take them to get up there. Basically, they're going to jump on that zip line there and they're going to come all the way down. All the way down there. And then I'll just have to walk over to this edge to show you where we've just come from. The mission. So, yeah, so basically, I'll start again. They're going to come. From on that, that, it's hard to see the line, all the way through, all the way down there, and down to there where we've just shown you, just to get an idea as well, uh, do a full panoramic of here, it's called Serra Negra, so for me. Line, and then the sea on this side. Amazing views up here. 